Thank you for joining with me for the meditation for Lesson 188. Go ahead and sit with your back supported, head and neck free. Let's start with a 2x breath in through the nose for a count of 2 and out through the mouth for a count of 4. Let's go ahead and repeat that three times. The peace of God is shining in me now. Why wait for heaven? Those who seek the light are merely covering their eyes. The light is in them now. Enlightenment is but a recognition, not a change at all. Now let's move into a 3x breath in through the nose for a count of 3. Out through the mouth for a count of 6. This light cannot be lost. The peace of God is shining in you now and from your heart extends around the world. The shining in your mind reminds the world of what it has forgotten and the world restores the memory to you as well. The peace of God can never be contained. Now let's move into a 4x breath in through the nose for a count of 4. And out through the mouth for a count of 8. And repeat that two more times. Let us sit quietly and close our eyes. The light within you is sufficient. It alone is has power to give the gift of sight to you. Exclude the outer world and let your thoughts fly to the peace within. They know the way. For honest thoughts untainted by the dream of worldly things outside yourself become the holy messengers of God himself. These thoughts you think with him. They recognize their home, and they point surely to their source, where God the Father and the Son are one. The peace of God is shining in me now.
The peace of God is shining in me now. This is Ken Wapnick, Journey Through A Course in Miracles, the workbook for students. Our next two lessons, lessons 188 and 189, share the symbolism of light. The first one, incidentally, was one of Bill Thetford's favorites. The lesson begins with Jesus' plea from lesson 131. Why wait for heaven? Why then, he asked, delay the peace, the happy effects of forgiveness, choosing to believe instead you have to suffer to receive your eventual reward. This is the traditional Christian view that your crucified life will be rewarded in the hereafter. Its message of salvation's delay, central to the ego thought system of guilt and punishment, is corrected by Jesus in the immediacy of salvation, which is in chapter 26, section 8, paragraph 1 of the text. The peace of God is shining in me now. Let all things shine upon me in that peace, and let me bless them with the light in me. The key to our practice is realizing that everyone... Everyone, 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 everyone is part of the sonship. We need watch our minds, judgments, and special attachments, understanding they come from a decision, albeit repressed, to believe the ego's darkness is reality and Christ's light and illusion. We use the day's experiences to discern the mind's decision recognizing that the mistaken choice made us unhappy, while happiness comes from asking Jesus' help to correct the error. Thus does our voice join his in singing the song of peace to ourselves and all our brothers. And this is from the Gifts of God, page 10. The melody of peace is always there. It neither dies nor wavers. It remains a calm, soft sound, more still than silence, and an ageless recollection in the minds that God created. Ceaselessly it sings to all the world that it remember him. The sounds of earth are quieted before this ancient melody which speaks of love in limitless dimensions. Where is fear when God has guaranteed that he is here? And that's from Helen Shuckman's book of poetry, The Gifts of God. And I'm grateful for this today. It really helps me. I've been in a bit of a dark place. um, And I love this reminder. I need these reminders (laughs) a lot. So we use this day's experiences to discern the mind's decision, recognizing that the mistaken choice, the choice for the ego, made us unhappy. Whenever I'm unhappy or sad or lonely or my, all my running friends were joined together this weekend, so I was a little melancholy about that, and my husband's out of town. So I can see that come up and just recognize that it's my ego trying to darken, darken my world and that it's not the truth of who I am or who anyone is. Um, and I have to remind myself of that because... We're all different, and we all have different beliefs based on the thought system and the belief system that was instilled with us when we were young. So it just really helps me today. Thank you so much for joining with me. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you tomorrow.